Okay, so for the first time in about five years, I'm thinking about switching from my MacBook to a Surface Book. And there's two new Surface Book 2s here that we want to show you. Both of them are going to be coming out in November. They start at $14.99 for the 13-inch model and $24.99 for the brand new 15-inch model. Both of them are going to come with 8th Gen Core processors that offer up to twice the power of the comparable MacBook Pros and you're going to have your choice of discrete graphics in the 13-inch and 15-inch. There's going to be NVIDIA GTX 1050 and 1060 on this model. Just like before, these are going to detach so you can use them as a tablet. This starts at 3.2 pounds and goes up to 3.6 with the discrete graphics. As you can see here, there's a USB-C as well as the Surface Dock connector. And on the left-hand side, there is an SD card slot, which you don't have on the MacBook Pro, as well as two full-size USB ports. The fulcrum hinge has been redesigned on both models to make it easier and more stable to hold the tablet. And it's just as easy as before to detach. You just press a button right here. And in tablet mode, you could use the Surface Pen uh, to do things like drawing, sketching. And in tablet mode, it is pretty light at just 1.6 pounds for this model. And on the 15 inch, it is huge but it's just 1.8 pounds. The keyboard travel on both is pretty good and familiar for us who have been using Surface Books in the past. Uh, it, it's very comfortable. It's at least 1.3 millimeters. Microsoft has designed this touchpad so it's nice and smooth and precise. And if you are into the Surface style, you'll be able to use that in applications like video editing. So between their really impressive displays, a lot of power, and up to 17 hours of battery life, which we're obviously going to have to test. I am seriously thinking about switching from the MacBook Pro to the Surface Book 2, but we're going to have to see how our test results pan out. This is Mark Spoonar for Laptop Mag, and this is our first look at the Surface Book 2.